could A B actually be back on the Steelers week one? I think so. By default. Wow. Uh, they don't want they don't want to keep him. He wants out. He's made it clear. They've made it clear. But I think because of the manner in which A B has handled this stuff in the offseason, I think that it's given teams a license to say, we don't want to surrender, but so much, as Max would point out, no first round pick. And as a result, if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, why not make professionals and grown men be professionals and grown men and keep it right there? Now, obviously, it's slim that it'll go down this way because he wants that guaranteed money because that portion of it has expired. He's used all of that up. And so he's basically talking about, I'm not interested in any non-guarantees. We get that. And a lot of this may indeed be about the money. But again, the manner in which he has elected to handle this, coupled with Kevin Colbert's uh, t statement that we're not accepting less for him, the question to me is, well, who's going to give them more? Or who's going to give them what they're determined to get for Antonio Brown services, who's one of the top two receivers in all of football? Who's going to be willing to give up the goods? Obviously, this argument is null and void if somebody's willing to do that. My trepidation is, are they going to be willing to do it because of how Antonio Brown has opened his mouth about his teammates, his coaches, the organization, et cetera? I wonder about that right now, which is why I consider it a possibility, as slim as it may be. Kevin Colbert, the GM's track record, speaks for itself. He's constructed two Super Bowl teams, um, and he, they're perennially a powerhouse, and he drafts, they draft very well, the Steelers. They find talent in the draft. So guys like that deserve the benefit of the doubt. But it doesn't mean that they're perfect or beyond criticism. And what did they wind up getting for Le'Veon Bell? Nothing. Didn't even bring them back because they said they would. Yeah, we're not going to guarantee we can't franchise this. They got nothing for them, and they missed the playoffs. And I think that was related to them missing the playoffs. What are they going to get for Antonio Brown? Are they going to get nothing? I don't think he can do that. I think you got to get something for the guy. Um, and so, sure, it may come down to Colbert being smart about not wanting to pay a running back long-term dollars because, you know, of course, the amount of money you can pay a guy or guarantee a guy is really based on his age. How many more years do you believe he'll give you production worth the money? Because of the hard cap, you better get that right. So Colbert doesn't want to pay Le'Veon Bell? Okay, fine, you didn't pay him, and what'd you get for him? Same thing with Antonio Brown. No, I think he has to trade him. You ain't going to get a first-rounder for him. Uh, I even said, Damian, that, like, uh, you know, a second-rounder, well, if it's not a good second-round pick, usually you get something extra. I, if I'm a team dealing with the Steelers right now, I play hardball. You're not getting a fifth-rounder on top of the second-rounder. You'll get a bad second-round pick. By the way, I would assume that if his value dropped to third-round pick, now more teams are interested. Because at a certain point, they've got to be like, a third-round pick for Antonio Brown. Other teams will be like, yeah, we, got, we cannot say no to that. So I'm still going to say you're going to get a second-round pick for him, but that is it. I do think they get that. I don't think he's a stealer. Yeah, I definitely think there's a possibility that he could be back. A um, couple things. One, the Steelers, when you have a player like Antonio Brown, for as much noise as Antonio Brown has been making recently, you're not in the business of giving away premier talent like that. Okay, we can sit here and talk about giving away Antonio Brown for third, fourth round pick, but I just don't I don't see that happening. Couple of that with the fact that the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're going to have like a $20 million cap hit if they get rid of Antonio Brown. So if you're going to have that type of cap hit, you better get something in return. That's one. Number two, uh, as it relates to Antonio Brown, you don't think the Pittsburgh Steelers have known what type of player Antonio Brown has been all these years? He's gotten his money. And I've always said money just, just enhances who you are. And I think the only reason that all this stuff bubbled over, you know, bubbled over the, you know, over the surface is because of the type of year that the Pittsburgh Steelers were having this year. Started off with Le'Veon Bell and all the noise that came about from Le'Veon Bell not reporting. And then all of a sudden, when everything wasn't going right for the Pittsburgh Steelers, you heard about the relationship. Now, I'm under the impression that a great franchise like the Pittsburgh Steelers, led by, you know, uh, Dan Rooney. I, I believe it's Dan Rooney, the owner. And Kevin, you know, Colbert, the GM. Big Ben and A.B. can't sit in the room. If, you know, if everything comes to it, they can't sit in the room and hash things out. Of course, because, again, I believe that 
you're not going to give A.B. away for nothing. And I know the Pittsburgh Steelers right now are probably not sitting with, you know, the, uh, the position of, of uh, you know, just having all the, the leverage on their side, but you can't give away a player like But they like did it with Le'Veon Bell. They did say, it with Le'Veon again? Bell. Le'Veon, listen, they're going to get a compensatory pick for Le'Veon Bell. Right, but They'll that's probably basically get a third round pick for Le'Veon Bell. Right, I don't but think the, I don't think the Le'Veon Bell situation, the Antonio Brown situation, are related at all. You think that I actually think Le'Veon Bell was more important to that team. They're both very important, but more important than Antonio Brown. And they basically a third round pick for Antonio Brown. You get a second round pick probably. They just well, lost Le'Veon Bell for practically nothing. Let's also keep this in mind. I think it's very important, Max and Damian, that we consider this. What if you're right, Max, and there's people that it's not willing to give up but so much for Antonio Brown? That might be a wake-up call to him that his situation needs to be reconsidered. For example, yesterday I pointed out how Larry Fitzgerald had about 15 different quarterbacks in his career throw him a touchdown pass. Chris Carter, at least 10. Anto Antonio Brown, the only person that has ever thrown him a touchdown pass is Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger has thrown all 73 touchdown passes of Antonio Brown's career to him. So when you consider that, okay, and there's not a market out there for you because somebody consider you polarizing or cancerous, I'm not saying this because I love mm -hmm. Antonio Brown, even though I don't like the way he handled the last week of the season. Stephen A. But, but other people might feel otherwise. Who Steve, knows? You know what the most ear-popping thing is you just said with wow. why they're going to get a second-round pick for him? Wow. How many touchdown passes has the man 73. caught? 73, 73 touchdown so, passes. Someone's giving up a second-round pick. Someone's giving up 74, a second round pick. 74, even more, well, guys. Well, Colbert said he wouldn't accept, you know, that. It's like he wants the first we'll round. See. Mm -hmm. see what I'm yeah. saying? He wants to be called just, Mr. Big Chest, too. Don't forget that important detail. Well, just get rid of that Tell mustache.